Hey guys, this is GameZone. Welcome to my channel. So the patch notes are here for the update that is coming out day after tomorrow. So let's get into this. So actually really nothing big happening here. We are seeing the third wave of server merge and it's starting with the East Asia, Southeast Asia. This is the list here. I'm not going to read anything just to because there isn't an, anything interesting here. Same thing going to happen with the server merge here it's the same thing that has been happened previously with the different merges but anyways let's keep moving forward feature updates additional stash taps are coming in diablo immortal one which will be able to purchase with 2000 platinum and the second will be locked behind boon of penalty so if we have the boon of uh penalty plenty i mean activated at the time we will get the third stash uh option unlocked but if you don't have that then we will have one additional for 2000 platinum then moving forward uh there has been some adjustment to the boss in one noble phrases previously they did that for the spider boss in the tomb of fire and now they are reducing or removing the invulnerability phrases duration from many boss encounters such as the ancient nightmare and glacier colossus fights going forward we will continue to evaluate the players experience in boss encounters and will make additional adjustment at needed but in my opinion it should not be there totally so we can actually do speed run much more efficiently with nice pacing but anyways this is what we are seeing here then there's a really good change coming to the path of blood server improvement have been made to the path of blood system upon completion of a floors player will now receive gold experience items as a reward you may now skip directly to the nearest boss i'm i think it's it depends on how quickly we complete the floor then it will evaluate that how much higher we can jump take a jump and all the floors in between are going to get a quick completion which will save us time and we will still get the reward and it will go into our mail so yeah it's it's going to save us time for us so that's good then hell difficulty notification every time when you unlock a new hell difficulty after defeating a raid boss you will now see a congratulations screen detailing the new feature available to them will pop up so yeah nothing really amazing there then auto player party member by clicking the tapping by clicking or tapping on a player or their party players can now automatically follow that player and movement or combat that you manually initiate or being attacked by a monster we interrupt auto following there's that i mean that's there players profile display if a player is part of a warband their warband name can be seen in the player profile menu so little change there combat rating visibility combat rating is uh, is an integral aspect of diablo immortal to eight players in easily accessing their combat rating we have moved this statistic to a higher location within the attributes interface so yeah it will be much cleaner interface i guess then there is a change with the bounty reward in, uh, and in my opinion this looks good any bounty that previously provided 1.2x reward will now provide 5x reward so there was always this one bounty that had the higher chance of giving us uh, more xp now that bounty is going to have 5x reward not all of them i think then pulse of the fan limited event just like any other event we will be given tasks to complete and with that unlocks rewards that we can obtain so yeah it's coming out as well so nothing really exciting but we will sure get one free legendary quest and one telluric pearl for sure and also one set item that is how the pattern looks like so far with these different events but anyways season 10 battle pass alchemist admixer is coming out 
in February 16 and this is what it looks like for the necromancer like Arabian looks in my opinion not sure but nothing really exciting then void beyond cosmetic a in-game shop cosmetic it looks good on the wallpaper but I don't think it is going to look any good in the game but we will see it it will cost 1000 and more with the portal so yeah we have to spend real money to get this one then bug fixes and nothing else so really nothing uh, amazing happening there but this is all we are getting for now until the big i mean the major update will happen so the holidays are done and the update after this will be the major one in i think yeah but for now not really exciting things are happening so yeah this is it for the video and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys